Find the value of f prime of 0, given that f of x equals e to the x plus natural log of 1 plus x. Okay, okay, okay. So first we find f prime. The um, nice thing about derivatives is you can usually just kind of jump in and go for it. Um, integrals sometimes need a little bit more prior planning. Not so much, not as much with derivatives. So the risk for failure in terms of going down the wrong path is less. <laughs> but now that I've said that, I'm probably going to find myself in terrible jeopardy. Okay, the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. So what we'll do here is the chain rule. So 1 over 1 plus x times the derivative of 1 plus x, which is just 1. So derivative of natural log of 1 plus x is just 1 over 1 plus x. And that's probably why they have the 1 there. So when we do f of 0, f prime of 0, we don't get up with a um, some undefined term. We don't divide by 0. We don't destroy the universe, if you will. This doesn't seem so bad. Deceptively simple. So e to the zero is one. If you don't, you know, you don't believe me, you can trust you, you, you can put it in your calculator. Plus one equals two. So the answer for this is two. Find the value of f prime of zero. Check, 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 f prime, f prime of zero, two, and it's an answer. So the key here is just knowing that derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and derivative of natural log is one over x and not getting caught up with the um, doing something you're not supposed to. So eh, not too bad. Excellent.